Replace method in JavaScript is a method that can be used to add, remove, or replace elements in an array, while the slice method is used to extract a portion of an array or a string and return a new one, but there's more to that. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about these methods and the easiest ways to use them to manipulate your arrays. Stay tuned. So let's start with the splice method. Let's look at these examples quick. Let's say we have an array of fruits, like so. And then we call the splice method on this array. The splice method takes two arguments. The first argument specifies the position at which the operation you want to perform should start. And the second argument specifies the number of elements you either want to add, remove, or replace. So. In our case, let's say we want to remove banana and cherry from our array. Banana start from the index position of one because in programming we start counting from zero. So apple is at index position zero and banana is at index position one. So we'll put one as our first argument. And then we want to remove two items from the array starting from index position one. We'll put two here as the second argument. So the method will remove any two elements starting from that index position. If we console log our fruit array, you'll see we've removed those two elements. And there you go. So now we've removed some elements in the array, but what if we want to add more elements to the array instead? Well, let's see another quick example. Let's create an array of cars. Let's say we want to add two more cars to this array. We'll also call the splice method on the car array. The splice method will also take two arguments here. The first one specifies the index position you want to start your operation from. In our case, we want to add more types of car after Honda. So because Honda is at the index position of two, if we count zero, one, two. So we'll put two as our first argument. And because we are only adding elements to the array and nothing else, we'll put zero as our second argument. And then we'll list the elements we want to add to the array as the third argument. So let's add BMW and Jaguar. Now, if we console log our cars array, you see we've added those two cars to the array. And there you go. So, so far we've seen how to remove and add elements to the array using the splice method. Now, Let's see how to replace an element using the splice method. Let's reuse our car array. I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Let's rename this and say car types. So let's say we want to replace Honda with Toyota. It's going to be the same process. We'll call our splice method on the array name. And the element we want to replace is at the index position 2. So we'll put 2 as our first argument. And the number of elements we want to replace is just 1, which is Honda. So we'll put one here as our second argument. And then the third argument will be what we want to replace the element with. In our case, it's Toyota. So if we console log our car types, you'll see that Honda has been replaced with Toyota. And there you go. So now let's look at the slice method, which is used to extract a portion of an array or a string and return a new one. The method takes two parameters. The first parameter specifies start index position which includes the element at that index position. And the second parameter specifies the end index position, which excludes the element at that position. So let's see some quick example. Here's an array of number. So let's say we want to extract two and three from these numbers. Let's go ahead and create a new variable to store those numbers. I'll call it extracted numbers. Then let's call the slice method on the numbers array. Since we want to extract two and three, the first parameter we'll pass in the slice method is 1 because that's the index position of 2. And then the second parameter will be 3 because that's the index position of the element we want to extract. 4 is at the index position of 3. And remember, the second parameter excludes the element, so it won't extract the element at that position. Let's console log our extracted numbers. And there you go, we've extracted 2 and 3 from the numbers array above. So if, for instance, we provide only one parameter to the slice method, it will assume that to be the start index. And the slice method will start extracting the element from that index position to the end of the array or string. Let's see another quick example. Let's say we have this array of numbers again, and we call the slice method and pass only two as the parameter. 
the method will start extracting the element from the index position of 2 to the end of the array. Let's console log it. See, we've extracted all the elements from 3 to the end of the array, which is 6, and 3 start from the index position of 2. And if you put a negative number as the parameter, the slice method will start counting from the end of the array or string. Let's see example for that too. And there you go. However, it is important to know that the slice method does not modify the original array or string, but instead it always returns a new one. And if you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Cheers and I'll see you in the next one.